gotta keep my fans in mind. They dig a little bit. What are you about to sell them? Think about trail. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Charles TK coming back to you guys with another video. And as you guys can see from the title of today's video, I'm back with more player props for today's game slate on Friday, March 17th. And as always, if you guys are new to prospects or you guys are new to underdog and you guys would like to sign up, you guys can check the pinned comment down below and use my referral code. These referral codes will match whatever you guys do decide to deposit on the app up to $100 with a minimum deposit of $10. So if you guys are interested, you guys can check that out. And now the recap of yesterday, you guys pretty much know what it was. I don't really have to say anything, just a bad beat. Terrible reads by me, you know, that's 100% on me. I apologize for that. So hopefully tonight we will bounce back and be better. But with all that being said, now the way, let's go ahead and get into the first pick of today's video, which is going to be Joel B over 11 and a half rebounds. And now if I do open up Joel B stats over the last five games when it does come to his rebounds, he's averaging nine. Against Cleveland, he had 18. Against Washington, he had eight. Against Portland, he had seven. Against Minnesota, he had seven. And against the Pacers, he had five. Now, let me show you guys why I do love this matchup for Joel B tonight. So if I do head over to fantasypros.com and I go to defense versus position tonight and I go to the center position and i scroll down to who joel Embiid is playing tonight which is the charlotte hornets as you guys can see when it does come to points they are giving up 24.87 points when it does come to rebounds they're giving up 16.48 both are highlighted in green, which means it is an easy matchup for that position. And if I do head over to statmuse.com and I type in Joel Embiid stats over the last five games against the Hornets, Joel Embiid is averaging 37.6 points, 11.0 rebounds, and 4.6 assists in the last five games against them. And when it does come to his rebounding line against them out of the last five times, he has hit it one, two, three out of the last five times they have played. And if I do head over to props.cash and I type in Joel Embiid's rebounding prop, over the full season, Embiid is averaging 10.2 rebounds. Out of his last 10 games, he's averaging 10.2 out of his last five games he's averaging nine and versus the hornets he's averaging 12. now when we do break down the hornets defense they are ranked number 29 in rebounds allowed they're ranked number 23 in offensive rebounds allowed they're ranked number 30 in defensive rebounds allowed they're ranked number 21 to the center defense and that right there is going to be all the reason behind why i do love joel and b to go over 11 and a half rebounds tonight uh the spread on this game is i think plus nine or ten so i mean if it stays in that range and b should be good but if the hornets can make it even closer he will clear this well with ease tonight and now for the second pick in today's video it is also also going to be in the rebounder category as well and we're going to be going with jaron jack jr over seven and a half rebounds now if i do open up uh jaron jack jr's rebounding stats over the last five games he's averaging 7.8 Versus Miami, he had nine. Versus Dallas, he had six. Versus uh, Dallas again, he had seven. Versus the Warriors, he had nine. And against the Lakers, he had eight. And if I do head over to fantasypros.com, check the defense versus position for Jaron Jack tonight. He is playing the San Antonio Spurs. And if I do go to the power forward position, scroll down to the Spurs, as you guys can see, they are allowing 23.56 points to the power forward position, and they're allowing 10.96 rebounds, both which are highlighted in green, which means it is an easy matchup for Jaron Jack. And if I head over to statmuse.com and I check Triple J's stats over his last five games, games he's averaging 18.6 points 7.6 rebounds and 1.2 blocks in those last five games and if i do head over to props.cash and i type in jaron jack jr's rebounding prop over the full season he's averaging 6.6 .6 rebounds out of the last 10 games he's averaging 6.4 out of his last five games he's averaging 7.8 and versus the spurs he's averaging nine and if we do break down the spurs defense when it does come to rebounding the rank number 21 in rebounds allowed the rank number 19 in offensive rebounds allowed the rank number 23 in defensive rebounds allowed and the rank number 26 to the power four defense and that right there is going to be all the reasons behind why i do love jaron jack jr to go over seven and a half rebounds tonight he has a very good matchup so i just expect him to perform and now for the third pick in today's video i did have to get on underdog for it because prospects does not have his lined up currently yet which is unfortunate but it will be available pretty soon once they do put it up and that is going to be in the assist category and we're going to be going with anthony edwards over for assists and if i do head over to fantasypros.com and check the defense versus position and edwards has tonight when he is going up against the chicago bulls if i do go over to assists as you guys can see they are highlighted in green at 5.52 which means it is an easy matchup for Ant edwards and if i do head over to statmuse.com and i type in anthony edwards stats over the last five games against the bulls anthony edwards is averaging 22.4 points 5.6 assists and 5.4 rebounds in the last five games against them and Ant edwards has gone over that four assist mark once twice three out of the last five times they have played and if i do head over to props.cash and i check anthony edwards assist prop over the full season he's averaging 4.5 out of his last 10 games he's averaging 4.3 out of his last five games he's averaging 4.6 and against chicago he's averaging 11. 
Now, if we do break down Chicago's defense when it does come to assists, the number 18 in assists allowed the rank number four to the shooting guard defense. And those are going to be all the reasons behind why I do love Ant Edwards to give us over four assists tonight. And now for the fourth and final pick of today's video, it is going to be a guaranteed lock, and it is going to be over on Thrive Fantasy for Jason Tatum to score 0.5 points tonight. This is almost guaranteed. Well, it basically is guaranteed to hit. So if you guys are new to Thrive Fantasy and you guys would like to sign up, check the pin comment down below. All you guys will have to do is click that link, sign up, deposit $10. As soon as you guys do that, you will be automatically given this free square, which is guaranteed to hit because Jason Tatum is definitely going to score at least one point tonight. I recommend using this and pairing it with either of the picks in today's video. I like all of the picks in today's video. We should do very good today. So if you guys are interested, you can just check out the pin comment and get this free play. But those are going to be our picks for today's video, which is Joel and B over 11 and a half rebounds, Jaron Jackson Jr. over seven and a half rebounds, Anthony Edwards over four assists. And then we have our free square over on Thrive Fantasy for Jason Tatum to get 0.5 points. And as always, if you guys don't like these plays or you guys will want more plays or you guys want to discuss more plays, all you guys have to do is check the description of today's video and join my Discord. It is 100% free. Once you guys are in there, you don't have to pay for anything at all because none of this stuff is guaranteed. But that's going to be the end of today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Don't forget to drop a like on today's video. Don't forget to turn on those post notifications. It's been your boy Charles 2K. I will catch you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.